I think we all agree we have to do something. That is a major step in the right direction. But we are a far cry from the finish line. There are ways to trip this up. There are um, problems that we have to address by way of uh, smoothing, uh, uh, homestead exemptions uh, and their players at the state level that we rely on for many of these measures. So for us to categorize it as close uh, but yet so far. Residential owners are going to have a 200 million dollar increase uh, and uh, commercial industrial taxpayers are going to have a hundred million dollar decrease and uh, that seems to me to be an unfair burden shifting uh, and a windfall uh, for commercial property owners that we need to do something about. In addition, I think it's much broader than a, a state and, and city issue. This is a national issue. And systematically, you see the budgets being balanced on the workers. 2,700 people who are uncertain on what their future brings. 2,700 people who are trying to keep our kids safe, keep the schools in, in good and healthy conditions. It seems like we take a step forward and two steps back, but at the end of the day, there is a deadline, and that deadline is quickly approaching. Uh, like every year, uh, we have challenges relating to our ability to get to a budget. This particular year uh, has been a little more difficult than most, uh, given the funding scenario as it relates to going to actual value. My hope is that over the course of the next couple of weeks, uh, we'll put all of those pieces together, our administration working with City Council uh, to uh, put together a package uh, and then go from there.